How's it going guys? We're going to this apartment today. You guys won't believe what we pull out of this toilet. Let me know what you think at the end of the video. All right. What's going on guys? Jay that drain guy. As you guys can see, the bathtub backed up when, I guess when they flushed. Um, they said it doesn't happen. When they flush, it's when somebody else uses the water. So we are going to pull the toilet and see what we find. We're gonna hold that. Water off. So as you guys can see, the water obviously didn't go down and it is backing up. So we're gonna use the vacuum to suck all the water out.
shut that off. So let's, uh, let's get you over here. We'll push that out of the way, right? Because now we're gonna have to take this vacuum, or the toilet off. Disconnect the water line. <clears throat> Do we have a new water line in here? Yeah, we're gonna end up putting a new one on. Alright, uh, pass me the 5 8 wrench. Right there. Right there. Uh, see the wrench down there? Yeah. No, that's a screwdriver. See, this is loose. The last person that was here didn't even tighten it up. Garbage bag? Uh, yeah. No, no, just small one, small one. You got a small one? Small one, no. No, no okay, that's fine. Then. What did you get there? Well, nothing. I'm just cleaning up under the toilet right now. And then if you got some paper towel as well, that'd be great. If not, no big deal. Or some toilet paper. 
Yeah, because I just want to clean underneath the toilet, right? Like, see the mess here? Right? You can use this bag. Okay. Do you got any, uh, like, spray cleaner or anything? Awesome, thank you. Keep one in there. How's that look? Alright, looks alright. You guys are most likely gonna fall. Hopefully not. So now we're gonna want to grab the. Uh, yeah, if you want, come stand here, sit that on top of the vacuum, because we're most likely only gonna be using the one cable. We're gonna be running the seven eighths cable. Uh, it's only got the small head on. Yeah, so just hold on a sec, make sure that don't fly out. Put a little bend on it. So what we're gonna do, we, we know the cables, the drain's gonna go down and turn, and then it's gonna turn again to where it drops in the stack. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna force it in like that. We're gonna try to turn it so that it's forced down. 
The other machine is a lot easier because it's a lot flexible, more flexible. All right. Uh, actually, pass me that. Nice and warm, eh? What do you think? There's the pin. Uh, you can try to just find the head at the end now if you want. I need you to, you're gonna hold this up like this, okay? So let that down. Let it down more, let it down, okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So, so like that, turn. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on now. Good, good. So now, we're gonna turn the hot water on just to clean the cable from when it comes out. So we're gonna feed this back in. You don't gotta hook it up. Okay, nothing came back. Okay. Careful, keep your hands low, keep your hand low. Yep, there you go. Okay, if you wanna just sit that on the ground now, you can, because we're gonna end up needing the vacuum again and then we're gonna need to empty the vacuum, right? All right. Wow, she's warm. Okay, so, tool bag can go there. Those can go in there. I'm gonna put the pin in the machine. Yep. Okay. You guys are all fogged up. Hot? <laughs> okay. If you need to adjust, right? Okay. If it gets foggy, let me know because we'll clean it up. All right, that's that. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna bolt these bolts, we're gonna secure them to the, uh, the flange so that it isn't hard to come off next time. So we put the nut or the bolt, a washer, then the nut, and then we feed it inside. Gonna make sure you don't do it all the way up, you gotta leave enough room. Okay. So like that. Okay. I'll make sure it's in the proper space. Proper place, not space, place. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. 
and then we're actually going to tighten it down. And if you guys like this kind of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Tight. Now we're going to clean our wrench off because it's full of wax. <laughs> Almost done. I know, I'm hot too, but not much we can do. Try to keep somewhat clean tools. All right. Wax gaskets. Just gonna set that there for now. And hook up the water supply. Again, this is a 5 8. This shut off valve isn't leaking and it was easy to turn off or shut off, I should say. So we're not gonna put a retrofit in. We like putting the retrofits in if we're having any issues at all with it, but this one seems fine all the way around. Not your knees. Oh, I mean bend with your knees, not your back. Right, Logan? Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna see that I don't uh, silicone this down, you guys know that. This is an apartment building and we don't want it leaking down below. We would rather the water have any chance at all to come out just from underneath the toilet and not into the floor. But some people say they don't like it that way. I'll say, come and do it yourself. All right, Logan. And the good thing about putting the nuts on this bolt beforehand to secure it to the flange, they don't move. Alright, nice and tight.
Since we're here, I can just tighten up this. Seriously? All these screwdrivers? Not one. Tighten up this toilet seat <laughs> since we're here. Right, Logan? Mm -hmm. Normally, it always takes two flushes after we redo everything. There she goes. Alright guys, we do want to thank you for watching. This has been Jay That Drain Guy. That's Logan That Drain Guy. Till next time, Taragna. Alright, so it's pretty surprising. I mean, nothing actually came out. We don't know what was in there blocking it, but we want to thank you guys for watching. Till next time, Taragna.